Winter weeds can be a real pain. And yes, I know it's still summer, so why are we even thinking about weeds in the winter? We've got crabgrass to deal with right now, but there is a reason for it. Obviously, there's a lot that contributes to winter weed development. The lapse in weed control is the obvious one, but there's an argument that core aerating can actually contribute to that. So I'm gonna explain why and kind of talk about what you can expect if you're getting your yard core aerated during the fall. For anyone with a fescue lawn, weed development is expected during the summer. Obviously, if you have a professional company, you want that weed development to be to a minimum, but anyone who guarantees you a completely weed-free lawn is a liar. So you have to expect a little bit of weed breakthrough depending on how thick your lawn is, how long you've been doing treatments, and how successful the pre-emergent was in the spring, which can be impacted by weather and a lot of other factors. But it makes sense. This is the worst time of the year for fescue, so it's going to be the best time of the year for weeds like crabgrass and a lot of others. And that's why pre-emergent weed control is put down in the spring to massively reduce the amount of weed breakthrough that you get in any of those areas that thin out or turn bare because of the stresses of summer. So pre-emergent works by halting the development of a plant right as it germinates. So I think it's something about inhibiting the root development. If you really know and understand this process, comment below because I understand the basics, I just can't find any resources that really delve into the whole explanation about it, and I'm curious. But the whole point is that it causes these newly germinated plants to die before they can mature and even become really visible in the lawn. Unfortunately, the standard pre-emergent weed control products that are built into typical fertilizer and weed control programs because of their cost and efficacy don't really discriminate between weed seeds and fescue seeds. As a result, it's important for spring pre-emergent weed control not only to be put down early enough that it can prevent anything wanting to germinate starting in the spring, but also early enough that it will have worn off and start breaking down in time for that fall aeration and seeding service so that it doesn't have any kind of negative consequence for that fescue seeding. This is why, for everybody watching, you start to see more and more weeds breaking through late July and into August. It's because that first round of pre-emergent is starting to lose efficacy, and that second one is the only thing really holding on. That's why we do it in two stages, so it's kind of that bell curve of coverage. Once that pre-emergent has broken down, the lawn becomes fair game for new weeds to break through. Now, there are some herbicides that can work as a pre-emergent that are safe for fescue seeding. We utilize some in special circumstances, like in conjunction with spring seeding when we do that service, but it's a much more expensive product, so it's not something that we or most other companies are comfortably building into their program because it's not gonna always be necessary or warranted. Obviously, weed control is a huge contributor to why you see weed breakthrough at the end of the summer, into the fall, and definitely in the winter. But that spike in the winter isn't just because there are new weeds wanting to grow in, it's also because most properties are getting core aerated. Obviously, like we've talked about in so many videos at this point, core aeration is an aggressive process. We're digging big metal tines several inches into the soil thousands and thousands of times across the whole lawn. So it's a lot of tilling almost. It's not quite tilling. We're not really stirring up the soil system, but it's a lot of invasion and it's a lot of restructuring and reorganizing the way that that soil is layered. So keep that in mind, but let's talk real quick about the life cycle of a weed. Weeds reproduce by seeding. 99% of the time, that is that is the method that they go for. And that seed can spread and distribute in multiple different ways. It can blow in the air like a dandelion. It can cling to the fur of a squirrel or a dog like a burr does. There's a lot of different ways that these weeds propagate, but they spread through their environment. That's what they're meant to do. So throughout the year, whether it's something that's growing in your own lawn, in your flower beds, in the woods out back, or in your neighbor who doesn't take care of their lawn, they've got all the weeds, wherever it's coming from, your lawn is being exposed to new weed seeds all the time. It's just a daily thing. There could be a bird flying overhead and it drops its little bomb and that grows into a weed. So there's always that exposure. You don't live in a bubble. But a lot of those weed seeds don't actually germinate, whether it's because you put down some weed control and they died and that's great, or it's because it's just not the ideal conditions. You know, it's the middle of summer and henbit doesn't want to grow. Whatever the reason is, if you don't get all of those seeds germinating and they go dormant, they can spend seasons and years in dormancy getting buried and buried into that soil system. Now, enter core aeration. 
When that soil is disturbed and we're tearing up the last shreds of pre-emergent weed control and all of those dormant weed seeds are being tilled and reorganized and brought up to the surface, all of a sudden you've created a really nice new environment for them to wake up and start growing in. These weed seeds are being exposed to fresh air and sunlight and perfect levels of moisture. That's right, that's something that you're doing. The aftercare that's given to fescue seed to encourage perfect germination is ideal for weeds most of the time as well. So, is core aeration to blame for winter weeds? Not completely. Winter weeds are normal in a fescue lawn because of the breakdown of pre-emergent, the general break taken during any kind of weed control program to allow for fescue seed to germinate successfully as well as the additional care that's being given to the lawn in the fall to encourage seed germination in the first place. However, core aeration can be blamed for higher rates of those winter weeds than if you hadn't done a core aeration service. All of that re-exposure and tilling up can bring a lot of dormant seeds to the surface that haven't been seen in a couple of years. You have two options in terms of how you can handle this bearing of bad news. You can either just take it with a grain of salt and keep it in mind this winter when we see some weeds starting to come up. It is what it is, it's part of the service, and they'll be treated and taken care of early on in the spring with that pre and post emergent weed control. Or you can forego core aeration. It's still a good idea to aerate the lawn, and that's why we've really explored this liquid aeration product. Among the myriad benefits that there are to liquid aeration that we've talked about before, just one of those benefits is that you don't have the risk of higher rates of winter weeds that you do with core aeration. That doesn't mean that if you get liquid aeration, you won't have winter weeds. That's not what I'm saying. Don't, don't try to use that against me. I'm just saying that if you see maybe 25 weeds break through in the winter after core aeration, you might see 15 or 20 when you do liquid aeration. There is a correlation. Doesn't mean there's a causation, but there is definitely a correlation between having liquid aeration and seeing reduced rates of winter weeds compared to if you core aerate. So tell me what you're thinking about for your lawn. I've been given the feedback that these kind of liquid aeration related topics are very controversial. So I want to hear what you guys are seeing in your properties in terms of weeds, as well as whether or not you think core aeration has anything to do with your winter weed development. Let me know in the comments below. While you're down there, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to date on plenty of future content. Either way, I hope that you guys have a picture perfect day and we'll talk to you again later.